guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a nail polish review. This nail polish came in my julep box and I did only try one of the colors and I've had this on for two days. This is in the middle of the third day. But I'm very, very disappointed with it. Like, okay, first off, the packaging. It's, I mean, pretty nice packaging and everything, but if you don't have it on all the way, see how it's nice and like even and straight across there, but if you tighten it to where, you know, you want to feel secure about it, it's kind of like crooked. And so I wasn't very happy about that because I like to really make sure mine are screwed on all the way. And then the next thing I was a little bit weird about, just about first impressions of opening it up and seeing it, was it, at the top it has this swatch me thing. And if anyone knows how to use that little thing, please be my guest and comment down below and let me know how you're supposed to use that because it is actually on the top of the brush. And so I'm not sure how I'm supposed to get it up on top to swatch it, you know? Like, do I do some cool ninja move and just like flick it up there? Or am I supposed to put it on a piece of paper and then, oh, my lighting just got really weird. Sorry. Anyway, are you supposed to be supposed to put it on a piece of paper and then like dip the lid in there? So I'm not sure about that. And then the next thing I really didn't like is it doesn't have one of those like metal shaky balls in it. And so you can't shake it. I mean, you can shake it, but it doesn't like feel like it's shaking because it doesn't make that like ding, ding, ding noise that it should make. I mean, maybe you can buy those separately. I'm not sure. This is just the first impressions thing. So, and then it's really like, I don't know if you can tell, but it's really gloopy. So that was a real pain in my rump to get on my fingernails. And like I could do, it actually peeled completely off one nail so I can maybe show you. So like you take it out and first of all, it's super gloopy. And then you paint it on your nail and I'll just try to do one coat of it. But it's like really thin and kind of like, you can see the different lines in it where it's thicker and stuff. And so I did like a couple of coats to get this color pink, but I wasn't, I don't know, very happy about that. And then I'm really, really sorry about my lighting. If you can tell, I have only used this once, I promise, maybe two coats on each side, but you can see how much like I already used out of the bottle. That was super, super disappointing because normally I can like keep a nail polish forever, but this doesn't look like I can keep it for very long without using up the whole thing. Which I guess that's why they keep you coming back for more, right? Because if you never ran out, you want to never buy more. Then, another thing. Thirdly, the wear on this product is awful. Now, I put it on, I used a base coat, and then I put it on. And then normally I would have used a top coat, but I was like, I'm in a rush or whatever, so I'm just going to leave it be and see. But like with my other nail polishes, OPI, and even my cheap colors, like LA colors and stuff like that, and sinful colors and stuff, they last for a good two days without chipping or anything, and look at that. That is just awful. Chips everywhere, everywhere. And I mean, like I said, this is with no top coat. And look at my, I guess, dominant hand. Like, a whole fingernail came off, guys. And this is, like I said, the end of day three of wearing this. And I was very disappointed because I've heard so many great things that it stays on forever and maybe... I should have given it a better chance with the top coat, but still, I mean, my OPI and stuff lasts longer without a top coat than this did without a top coat, so I don't know. I'll give it another try with one of the not sparkly colors and let you guys know, but this is the review, first impression of the color Elena Bombshell. Very disappointed. Will not repurchase this. I might use it again, maybe on my toes, because I won't use it on my fingers. Not as a statement color like this. It was just too difficult to deal with. If you want to hear a first impression of the not sparkly colors of the Julep Pigment Nail Polish, let me know in the comments below. And if you know how to use this swatch thing, please let me know as well, because I might just be and coordinated or whatever the word is because I don't know how to put it on top. Please let me know and that's that's all I've got. I'm not going to repurchase that ever. Bye guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a blessed day full of love and smiles.